Hello everybody, my name is Tuvisblad and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase Series and this time we are here at Murkwater Construction Site and uh, let's begin the tour as my... I think I put a fast travel? No, I don't, I don't think I put a fast travel target. So, there are... There's one? One enemy spawn point? I thought there were multiple. No, I think there's only one, surprisingly. Um, as you can tell by my line of defense turrets. Um, the spawn point is out in this vicinity. I don't think it's on this little island right there. Um, it might be a little bit beyond, but it's in that general vicinity. So, I didn't, I didn't know that this was originally in the game until I looked it up. Like, what are the... Uh, that saddle is very interesting. She's picking wood out of the uh, frame. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't know this was a settlement until I did research to actually know which or what's all the settlements. And this was one I completely missed. Um, much like Kingsport Lighthouse and Spectacle Island. I knew Spectacle Island was one, but I didn't know where it was. But anyway, so here's my carrot farm. I for some reason I think I put another farm down, but I... I don't think I did. Yeah, yeah, Grey Garden, I'm not going there, because I didn't do anything to it, it's just run by robots. So here's my farm, just a carrot farm. Uh, we'll, we'll do a counter... No, this is clockwise. Um, so here is the barber, soda fountain, and the bar. So this is hangout area, and I got some plants from Creation Club here and here too. My population settlement software. And our residential junkyard dog. And here's a marketplace. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really wanted to make do with all the water that's here. So I did. I just built, you know, just the foundation floor and box cars and stuff like that. But, uh... So here is our market, as always, we got ourselves a general store, clothing, and clinic. And I did put down these oil lamps, obviously they weren't here originally, I did put them down because, um, as, you'll, as we'll see in the night tour, it is quite dark here. So I put them up just to get a little bit of lighting. And we have two, we have two uh, scavenging stations. One fusion generator and a partridge in a pear tree. No, we've got quite a few bridges I built in this settlement. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really know like what to do to get help them cross across the water. So I just built these bridges. I don't know if I've actually seen settlers go through the bridges. But, um, so I got the boxcars from Wasteland Workshop. I believe. Um, obviously, as you can tell, I really love the boxcars. <laughs> as I've done it in uh, uh, Red Rocket Truck Stop, um, Spectacle Island, and now here at Mark Water. I don't know. I just think there's something about them that just makes them really cozy, and I just really like them, except for the holes in the top of the boxcar. But anyway, so here's the housing situation. Only got one light and uh, 16 beds. Move over here, and it's gonna get dark here shortly. Actually, what time is it? Oh, it's only two. It's raining, that's why. So then I use another box car to get our Ferropter here. Um, I. Whoa, that looks very conspicuous. I did not do that. Um, I love the cars here. I don't know, just to add something more to the settlement. I added the cars. I didn't do much to them, but or I didn't get rid of them, I just left them. And this, uh, this tool here, I don't know what to call it, forklift. Yeah, forklift. Um, this can't be scrapped, unfortunately. Watch, it'll, it will, uh, screw me, it will prove me wrong. Nope, okay. And here's our residential Brahmin, who is not at the trough. I don't know why. And I might as well just do a night tour. Oh, there's our provisioner. I gave him the deep tread tires so he can make his way through the water. 
But, uh, yeah, as long as it's getting a little dark out, I might as well do a night tour now. Um, because this area is otherwise really prone to getting, um, rad storms. So here's inside. It's all very nice and lit. And then, uh, the oil lamps are doing, doing their job, providing light into our marketplace nut. Not a whole lot, but just enough. Oh yeah, here's our water purifier, the water 40 power. Can I get up here? I think that's otherwise it. Uh, it's not a very big settlement. Um, yeah, let's actually take a look at the boundaries. It's not... Yeah. This was the, the Feropter was like right on the edge of the uh, boundary. Yeah, it's not a really big settlement. I I guess for some reason I was thinking I was gonna just put like the wood foundations and just lay it out all the way on top of the water. But that'd be defeating the purpose of having a water source, I would think. So that's why I, I kept it the way it was and just elevated everything. But yeah, uh, that's going to be Murkwater Construction Site. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and stay in tune with the rest of this series. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.